All right, welcome back. This week, while I'm painting, I want to talk about making decisions that stick. This is something I've struggled with quite a lot, but I've found a few methods that really help me make decisions that stick long term. As always, a quick disclaimer, I'm not some expert on making decisions or anything I talk about, I'm just sharing my experience. Also, there's timestamps down in the description if you want to skip around. Alright, so before I started using these methods, every time I'd make a decision, let's say to get in shape or to practice painting more, I'd get all excited about it, but over time the motivation would quickly fade, and then within a few weeks or a few months, I'd have slid off completely. So as I was thinking about why this happened, I realised that all the decisions I made were very one-dimensional. I would do something for one reason, and that reason was usually very vague. And I noticed when the reason was vague, it would be really difficult for me to stick to that decision long term, because I wasn't even really sure why I was doing it, I hadn't really thought about the benefits. So one of the things I wanted to do to make better decisions was create a stronger, more inspiring reason. This way, when things got difficult and I didn't feel like doing something, I'd have more energy and enthusiasm to keep going. One of the decisions I've made this year is to eat healthier and exercise more to get in shape. Instead of just using I want to get in shape as my reason and calling it a day, I sat and thought about all the benefits that would happen if I actually achieved that goal. I thought about how I would have more energy, be healthier, look better, have more confidence, etc. Even just taking 5 minutes to do this made my reason for getting in shape so much stronger and focused. So when I wake up one day and don't feel like working out, I can think about all of the positive things that will happen if I reach my goal, which helps give me the energy to make the workout happen that day. Having the benefits clear has been really helpful and it's working really well for things like getting in shape, but I wanted to take it a step further. Having a strong reason is great, but it's all focused on things I would get in the future and I wanted to find a way to make the process more enjoyable and exciting while also stacking as many benefits as possible. That's when I came across a method of decision making called clustering, which I found out from Marshall Van Druff, who's an awesome art teacher. This is actually the method I used when I decided to start this YouTube channel. I knew I wanted to do something with my art and start taking it seriously again, but I didn't know what to do. So I wrote down everything that I really enjoyed doing. Things like painting, drawing, watching YouTube videos of artists talking, learning and trying out different self-development techniques, reflecting on what's working for me and what's not, etc. Then I looked at everything I had written down and thought about what I could do that would combine as many of those things as possible, which is how I came up with the idea to make these videos. Since it involves so many different things that I'm interested in, I enjoy the process of making these videos so much and it's so much easier to stay motivated and excited about it. After I came up with the idea, I then went back and did the first step and thought about how doing more of each section would benefit me. So I thought about how spending more time reflecting on what's working will benefit me in the future, and how building consistency would benefit me over time, and so on, down the list of all the different things it involved. In the end, I was left with something that combines loads of things I love doing, and lots of really strong, well-defined reasons and benefits to do it. So after I've come up with something I want to do that combines a lot of things that I'm interested in and creates a lot of different reasons and benefits for doing it, I like to do one final test to make sure that it's a strong decision that's going to stick long term. And the test is really simple. If I fail, will I have enjoyed it? Will it have enriched my life and been a great experience? So for example, one of my goals is to become a professional artist and I've given myself five years to make that happen. So I imagine myself five years in the future but having failed and I ask myself was it still worth doing even though I didn't succeed? In this case the answer is fortunately a massive yes. If I succeed that would be amazing but it kind of doesn't matter too. I'm enjoying what I'm doing so much and getting so many benefits from it that even if I don't pull it off it will still have been an awesome experience trying to get there. I've been using this way of making decisions for a few months now and it's worked really really well. When I make decisions with vague reasons, the motivation and enthusiasm quickly fades, but with this method, the opposite has actually happened. As time's gone on, I'm just feeling more and more excited and motivated to keep going. So those are my thoughts on making decisions that stick. I'd love to know how you approach making decisions, so let me know down in the comments. Also, there's a link to the video where Marshall Van Druff talks about the clustering method in the description. Painting this week has been really fun, even although I've not had as much time as normal to do it. I feel like quite a few things that I've been trying to do are clicking into place which feels great and I've got a pretty quiet week coming up so I'll have loads of time to paint 
so I'm really excited for that. That's it for this video, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider dropping me a like and subscribe if you want to know when my next video comes out. Take it easy.